As it's me, it's Queen Osetaru, and thank you for joining me for another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Now, I got a message from a woman in the content section, and she wanted to know how she can grow her own YouTube channel. She's very interested in doing one. And um, my channel is relatively small. It's only 3,071 of you, which is not a big channel. It's bigger than the six of us that were watching my videos originally. When I first started my channel, it was like five friends and me watching my videos. So it's much bigger than it used to be. But there are people out here who have a million followers, a million subscribers, um, 100,000, 500,000, you know, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people watching their videos. So my channel is small, but I still do have some advice that I got from people with bigger channels. <laughs> Number one, your channel has to have a purpose. What is the purpose of your channel? Why are you creating it? Do you want to talk about cars? Do you want to talk about phones? Do you want to talk about astrology? What is the purpose of your channel? That's the first thing. The purpose of starting Ask an Aquarius was at first I... I had a lot of clients who were asking me a lot of repetitive questions. And I thought to myself, instead of typing this over and over again in the inbox, I can just do a video about it and shoot them the video. So that's what I did. My first ones were all about um, services, tarot readings, things like that, questions my clients were asking me. But then as time progressed, people started to ask me different kinds of questions. So my real purpose in branching off into the Ask an Aquarius part was that I saw that people were hurting like I used to hurt. And I figured if I could do anything to help people suffer less, I should. And I figured that one thing I could do that was easy was tell my story. God has always told me to tell my story, even though I didn't think people really wanted to hear it. <laughs> so I figured that at least my story could help people who were in similar situations. If nothing else, maybe I could help somebody who was just like me suffer less. So that's the purpose of the channel. Your channel needs to have an equally good purpose. It doesn't have to be a personal purpose. Like I said, it could be TVs, it could be whatever, but it has to have some kind of purpose because all of your content needs to speak to the purpose. So number two is content. You have to have really good content. People have to enjoy your content. You know, they have to think that it's good or it's informative or it's funny or it's something. You have to have something that people are like, yeah, I want to watch this video. And they want to tag their friends and that they want to send it to other people. Otherwise, nobody's going to watch it. There are a lot of people out here uh, doing videos on the same topic as well. So you have to look and try to be original. This goes for your purpose, actually a little bit more so, and your content. You have to make sure your channel is original. If there's already a channel like yours and it's better than yours, people won't watch your channel. So you want to do something original and creative, and that goes to the purpose and the content. Your content has to be good. Um, the third one consistent posting. Now you got this great content, you have this great purpose, you have to post consistent videos. When I first started, I posted a video when I felt like it. Not good. You have to post videos frequently, like on some kind of schedule, once a week, every other day. Me personally, I really think you should post a video every day if possible. Because the more videos you post, the more people see your videos, the more they're shared. And YouTube has this algorithm. I don't understand all of the legalities and all of the, you know, the mathematics to it. But the more you post, the more they promote you. So if you want a, your channel to grow and people to see you, you have to post frequently. That's why if you notice, I post almost every day when I can. Now, um, the other part is engage your audience. If you choose to have your comments on, you can turn your comments on and you can turn your comments off. If you choose to have them on, you need to engage your audience. You need to um, 
Personally, I read every comment. I approve and read every comment. If somebody's comment is inappropriate or doesn't go along with the conversation or they're being a jackass, I just don't approve it. I've deleted and I hide them from the channel and keep moving. So you need to engage your audience. You need to talk to them. You need to answer their questions in the comment section. You need to laugh and joke and, you know, say things to them. You know, these people are, you know, supporting your channel. So you need to support them and talk to them and, you know, engage with them. And you meet a lot of good people by doing that, by the way. So you need to be open and engaging with the audience that's watching your channel. Next, advertise. You have to advertise your channel. Nobody's, you know, at first, nobody's going to see it. It takes a long time to get your first 1,000 subscribers. It takes a year or two, especially if you're not consistent. Some people do it faster by being consistent and having really good content. So it takes a little bit of time. So you need to advertise, put your links in appropriate places. Um, I go to this one group is called the Aquarius Astrology Den or something. So I would post in there. I have my own group on Facebook. I post them in there. I have a page for my business. I post it on there. You have to post your videos. Um, you got to find some place or someone that allows it, or you have to have your own group or something and post your videos. So more and more people can see your videos. You have to advertise your um, videos. Engage other YouTube channels. You should really go on other channels. Like you always hear me shout out the channels that I go to, like Dean Graziosi, uh, the Schuler King comedy. I love that channel. Uh, Derek Jackson. You should go to other channels and you know talk in the comments and you know like and watch other people's stuff too. Because people find you when you make comments. People look and say, "Oh, who's this Queen of Saturu?" And then they say, "Oh, she got 300 videos. Let me see what she's talking about." It's another way that people actually find you. Uh, collaborate if applicable. Sometimes another YouTuber will come to you or you will go to them and say, hey, do you want to do a collaboration? So far, I haven't done one because I have never met anybody who I honestly agree <laughs> with everything they have to say. I agree with certain things they have to say, but then they'll, they'll hit a hiccup or something. I'm like, I don't know about that. Um, I'm funny about who I will put my name with, put it like that. So if you find people who are, um, you can collaborate with people who are on the same topic, people who you like, people who whatever, you know, if you're both doing, you know, something that's similar or a little bit different, the two of you can collaborate. So if you can collab, it's not bad because let's say the person has 10,000 subscribers and you have 3000 subscribers, all 10,000 of their subscribers are going to watch that video. And some of them may come and check out your video since you're friends or friendly with their favorite YouTuber. So that's another way of growing your channel. Lastly, um, there are a lot of other people out here, like I said before, who have bigger channels than mine. They have lots and lots and lots and lots of people. And um, you should go and Google this particular topic and watch some of their videos because they have a lot of the same information that I do and some other ideas they came up with on their own. So I got some of these ideas from watching some of those videos. So go watch other people who have huge channels. If somebody has a really big channel with people really watching it and commenting and liking, you know, that's the kind of person whose videos you want to check out. Check out their videos on how to grow grow your YouTube channel. There are a lot of them out there. So check out some more videos. But these are the things that I do every day to try to have a great channel. Another thing that goes with content, you need to have content that your subscribers want to listen to. You can that's why I said stay on purpose because you can't talk about stuff out of, out of the clear blue sky that nobody <laughs> that's watching your channel cares about. People who watch my channel want to hear about astrology. They want to hear about spirituality. They want to hear about relationships. They want to hear about humanistic kind of things, feelings, things like that. If I come out here tomorrow and I'm trying to sell a, a BMW <laughs> or I'm trying to talk to you guys about a, a flat screen TV, a lot of people are going to be like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> you know, like, where did that come from? You know, you got to stick to content. You got to stick to your purpose. So once you decide what your channel is about, once you decide on what your purpose is, keep your content 
in that area because you want your people to watch your videos. When it comes up in their feed, you want them to be like, oh, she's talking about this today. You want it to be something interesting to them. If it's not interesting to them, they're not gonna click on it. So you're not gonna have any views for that particular video, okay? I hope that helps and I hope your channel grows as large as you want it to be. See you later.